Hello everyone, my name is Sylvain Grain. I'm the Artistic Director of Stereopsia, a world immersion forum taking place yearly in Brussels, Belgium, and the Head of Community Relations at XRFOL Project in Europe. I'm very glad and I'd like to take the opportunity to thank the organizers of IEEE Conference on Game for inviting us, Selma and I, uh, to be part of this year online program and despite the pandemic to have the opportunity to virtually gather and be with you and I will be very glad to answer your questions after the presentation during the live Q&A session that will take place during the conference. To start with, I'd like to tell you about the XR4ALL project. XR4ALL, or Extended Reality for All, is an initiative funded from the European Union's Horizon 2020 program that aims to threaten the European XR technology industry, to accelerate its growth and to overcome some of the obstacles the European XR industry is currently facing. The project was launched in 2018 by a multidisciplinary team of five European partners with extensive experience in the blurring boundaries between the physical world and digital representations. Together, Image and 3D Europe, Europe Unlimited, Fraunhofer Heinrich Erz Institute, Bicom and LucidWeb decided to join forces to move the European XR tech industry forward. Among the five partners, the non-profit organization Image and 3D Europe is the association behind the World Immersion Forum Stereopsia that started in 2008 and takes place every year in Brussels, Belgium, in December. It's also the place of XR for all annual event. The team of Stereopsia is in charge of the following main responsibilities in XR for all. Community management, events and services to members, creation and coordination of the special interest groups, and partnerships and industry commitments. Why was XR4 created and launched? Interactive technologies, such as augmented reality and virtual reality, are set to transform the ways in which people communicate, interact and share information. By 2020, in Europe, the total production value of the XR industry should reach up to 34 billion euros and up to 480,000 jobs. However, the European XR scene is relatively less known, quite fragmented, and faced with strong outside competition, especially from Asia and the USA. In this context, xr all aims to address six objectives in order to support the creation of a thriving European XR community. First, the XR community and XR Forum. The main goal is to unite the XR community to increase collaboration within Europe. Second, the XR Developer Platform. The idea is to offer and access to common development platform to ease XR software components and applications development and sharing. Third, open call for funding opportunities. The idea is to launch and manage an open call with four cut-off dates to increase the XR innovation through funding of research teams to develop new XR solutions. Four, the research agenda. The idea is to monitor trends, visions, and technology developments to create a strategic research and innovation agenda for interactive technologies. 5. Map of funding sources for XR technologies. The idea is to boost the adoption of XR technologies through technology transfer and connections to investors. And to finish with, Promoting XR achievements. The idea is to carry out efficient dissemination activities to pave the way towards the sustainability of the overall project. Now, about the XR community and XR Forum. The XR Forum website has been launched in early 2019 
and will be updated in the coming months with a brand new design and a series of tools to help gathering the XR community, their activities, and promote events. To date, the XR for All community gathers more than 800 people, individual members coming from 44 countries. It's a very mixed community with diverse backgrounds and profiles. As you can see, a great majority of the members are CEO or executives, but we also count with a large amount of researchers and academics, which offer a large spectrum of XR professionals from the industry. In terms of topic interest, there's a lot of interest for technologies, but also a list of different specific interests, such as advertising, entertainment, education and training, health, art and heritage, and so on. Once you become a member of XR4 community, you can choose themes that you want to specifically work on through what we call the special interest groups. To date, 14 SIGs have been created, chaired by experts in each domain. Among the 14 SIGs, today I'd like to highlight two. SIG 9, XR for Digital Heritage Presentation, chaired by Selma Rizvit, who will lead the following presentation. In this SIG, the members explore the advanced methods of presenting cultural heritage objects, crafts, customs, and historical events through virtual and augmented reality, mixed reality, extended reality, and interactive digital storytelling. The other thing I'd like to highlight is the newly created SIG 13, XR Games, especially relevant uh, for this conference here. This new SIG aims at exploring, sharing, and discussing how XR Games can be better conceptualized, produced, and distributed. The SIG will welcome professionals, both involved in manufacturing and software development, academics and art practitioners. This new SIG is chaired by Ricard Grass. He presents himself as a creative technologist and an XR lover. He is program chair for games at SIGGRAPH Asia, professor at the University School of Design and Engineering in Barcelona, and advisor for several startups, including Noise VR and TimePath. At XR for All, we organize events all year long, may it be in partner events or on our own. These are ideation sessions, webinars, conference. Obviously, in these very special times, virtual and online more than in real person. And we also organize each year in December an annual event where the XR community meets and where best practices and XR stars are highlighted. The XR development platform provides developers with an open source alternative to current commercial development software development kits or existing open source solutions allowing to gather and share knowledge, algorithms and tools for the development and use of new interactive technologies. Open source alternatives are very important for the European Commission and the XR development platform will open in the coming months. A proper support from the European Commission to the XR industry wouldn't be complete without funding. So XR for All is running an open call for funding opportunities based on three cut-off dates along the year. The total funding is 1.4 million euros with a maximum amount granted per project of 50,000 euros. These open calls are made for XR research teams from legal organizations based in Europe that can, for instance, include, but not limited to, small and medium enterprises, industry, research institutions, academic institutions, and startups. The deadline of the current open call is December this year, and you can find every information and regulations on the website. In order to help the European Commission to give orientations and allocate future funding in XR, XR for All serves as an influencer in terms of XR. An important part of XR for All's missions is to deliver a research agenda to the European Commission. 
Pixavol aims at creating a landscape of the research activities, ongoing research activities in XR at a global and specifically a European level, to categorize the research activities and identify gaps. This is the first level of knowledge before giving new orientations and funding for XR in Europe. XRFOL also aims at developing the European research agenda for the coming three to five years and a vision for the research in the next five to ten years. The XRFOL map of funding sources consists in identifying opportunities per year and available funding sources for XR technologies to improve their access to markets and investments. We need to raise awareness of the potential of XR technologies among investors and industry players to increase their uptake and investments for technology providers. We organize webinars and workshops to support the XR entrepreneurs to improve their investments and partnering readiness by providing them the needed business skills. And to finish with, we organize brokerage events to connect technology providers with funding sources or industrial partners. The XR Tech Venture Forum 2019 was the first brokerage and investment event organized under the banner of XR for All. It was organized by Tech Tour and hosted at Stereopsia, the World Immersion Forum. The edition had an interactive program including pitching sessions, pre-planned one-to-one -one meetings and networking lunches. In order to promote XR achievements among the members in Europe, XR for All counts with social media channels that celebrate the achievements of the community by promoting and sharing the most relevant news on LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook. We also present XR stars, new partnerships, job opportunities, funding, acquisitions and for a larger audience highlighting the promising future of the XR European industries. Thank you very much for your attention. If you want more information about XR for All project, please feel free to contact us through our website or social networks. And please join us during the live Q&A sessions that will take place during the conference. We'll be very glad alongside Selma to answer your questions. Take care and see you.